breaking news from the Fox 59 Newsroom. Now on the news at six, we are staying on top of that breaking news. It's a large fire at a warehouse in Richmond, Indiana. We've confirmed that there were some lawn mo lawnmower manufacturing that happened here in this facility prior to it now holding plastics and recycling. What you're seeing right now is a live picture and it shows smoke that's coming now from the Richmond area out in Wayne County. The mayor of Richmond told us in the last hour that facility has again been used to store plastics and recycling. Yeah, we do know that an evacuation order is in place for the half mile around the fire. Others are told to shelter in place. There are resources available as well. Fox 59's Max Lewis is live at the scene right now. Max, we know you just got there. What can you tell us now? Yeah, guys, good evening. Um, I, that uh, evacuation order has been issued. Everybody within a half a mile of this facility, that was by the Wayne County Emergency Management. Uh, also, residents outside of that are asked to turn off their HVAC units, keep windows and doors closed, pets should be brought inside. And the reason is, is because I want to step out of the way and show you this massive, literally massive plume of smoke that is just billowing into the air from this facility. We are told that this is the uh, former Hofco Comet facility. It's a former lawnmower manufacturer. The mayor tells us that right now it is being used to store debris uh, and recycling items and plastics. Uh, and that is what is creating uh, this massive plume of smoke. We haven't been able to get a whole lot of new information on the fire because the fire chief is clearly tied up in, in commanding his crews and, and, and fighting this fire. We have been told that the Boston Fire Department, the Webster Fire Department, and the Cambridge City Fire Department are all here assisting the Richmond Fire Department. I was just able to speak with Richmond Police Chief Michael Britt. He says all of his resources are out here dedicated to this. They have been dedicated to evacuations. They, he actually told me that they were going door to door getting people who are in uh, neighborhoods that are behind this facility to get out and evacuate. Um, the Sheriff's Office tells me that they are also helping here and that they um, have uh, brought in people to assist with crowd control and things like that. I do want to give you a little bit of a tidbit that the Richmond uh, police chief told me. Actually, he said that when this fire initially started, see those semi-trailers that are near the facility? They actually were, had forklifts and they were dragging those semi-trailers away from the facility to try and keep them from, from adding fuel, literal fuel to this fire. So we are uh, hoping to get a briefing here in the next hour or so. Uh, and we will keep you updated as we learn new information about this really massive fire here in Richmond. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Max, thank you for giving us the landscape there. Again, this is the evacuation zone you're looking at. So half mile from that building in Richmond, whether to the north, east, west, south, if you're in that zone, that circle that you're seeing right now, it's time for you to evacuate. There are several resources there that will be in place from the county to either bus you there or for you to drive yourself to the EMA building again out in Wayne County. Of course, we're keeping our eyes on all of this right now. It's unclear how long all this will take for officials to get things sorted, to get people where they need mm -hmm. to go. It is something we're going to continue to monitor throw throughout. We'll have updates both on air and online as well as our social media pages. Fox59.com is where you want to go for that. As soon as they get that fire under control and things die down a little bit, we'll keep you updated.